Childhood ADHD and screen time. What is the connection? I'm Dr. Trish Lee and in this video I'd like to share with you that indeed there is a very strong connection with the amount of screen time and childhood ADHD diagnoses and symptoms. So let's break it down. Quickly in this video I want to share that there is a new very large study that shows that the more screen time children consume, the more likely they are to have a ADHD diagnosis and to struggle with ADHD symptoms. In this study of five-year-olds, they looked at kids who consumed less than 30 minutes of screen time and kids that consumed upwards of two hours of screen time and all points in between. And what the study found is more screen time, more ADHD. The kids that consumed the most screen time had a 7.7 .7 times more chance of struggling with ADHD. Now, why does that happen? We know that when we go into the screen, it resonates at 60 Hertz. So that's one factor. 60 Hertz is very fast brain speed. So our brains attuned to a screen. We're being impacted by the screen in terms of what's happening in our brain, the electrical energy usage. So what happens is your brain, when it's functioning ideally, is at 12 to 15 hertz. That's the cycles per second for calm focus. When you stay in the screen longer and longer and longer, that 12 to 15 hertz is ramping up and it's getting very fast moving towards that 60 hertz, which of course a brain wasn't designed to sustain that fast speed of usage for a long time. That's why the more time spent in the screen, the more the brain is getting wired. And of course, the more wired the brain gets, the more tired it gets. So after this really fast ramped up energy, what happens is not only does it slow down, it goes slower than the 12 to 15 hertz. Now it goes down to five hertz. And we know between five and seven hertz is the brain speed theta. That is the culprit in ADHD symptoms and diagnoses. So if your brain's using too much theta during the day, it makes it difficult to attend, difficult to focus, difficult to hold information and working memory, motivation goes down, the need to go back in the screen to be stimulated again goes up. And that's why screen time is so detrimental to kids who've never been diagnosed with ADHD because screen time can literally induce the ADHD brain pattern. That's true. It wires and tires the brain making it so that the brain goes out of the optimal calm focus mode into these extremes, what I call the pendulum effect of too much fast speed and too much slow speed, which contributes to not only ADHD symptoms, but anxiety, mood disorders, depression, the constant need to keep going, going, going. It creates self-esteem issues. It creates cognitive physical, and mental health issues. So what's the takeaway? The takeaway is this study looked at five-year-olds. So if you have kiddos, monitor and help them moderate their screen time from a young age. We know that shutting screen time down helps kids to get out. Like back in the day when my parents used to boot me outside and say, have fun, see you in six, seven hours. And I would come back in from climbing trees, moving my body and using my imagination. Cutting off screen time and getting your kids into the world does exactly that. And it's incredibly important or their brains will want to go back into the screen to feel good. They'll be trained to go there instead of going into the world and into their life. Moderate their screen time if they're young and teach them healthy usage across their lifetime. Now, if you're an adult and you're struggling with ADHD symptoms and you have a difficult time coming out of the screen or moderating your own usage, now is the time. Through the beauty of neuroplasticity, we know that it's never too late to change the way that you use your brain so that you can improve your life. So 
make a plan, decrease the amount you go into the screen, get into the world and use your brain in a healthy way. Get on purpose in your work, in your hobbies and in your relationships. Go do fun and engaging things in the real world while decreasing your screen time to decrease your ADHD symptoms. Now, if you struggle with ADHD or screen time usage, screen brain as I call it, we offer a fundamental four-point assessment that shows how your brain is per performing and how that shows up in your behaviors, how it shows up in your body, and how it's showing up in your environment and your social relationships. We can help you pinpoint this, and it's crucial for being able to get back on track for using the optimal brain performance pattern of calm focus. If you're stuck, this first fundamental four-point assessment can help you get unstuck and get back on track with what you need to do in your brain and in your life so that you can rock out your best life in the true, real, best version of yourself. And I want that for you. So please reach out at drtrishlee.com so we can get you started in this easy first step so you can get yourself moving in the right direction. All right, until next time, control your brain or it'll control you.